welcome back again. Here is our little video lesson on how to subtract integers with counters. So I've got a positive 5, take away positive 2 equals. Well, just like before, the first thing I'm going to do is model the first number in the equation here, positive 5. So let's get those 5 positives in there. So there's my 5 positive counters. Now the math sentence above tells us to take something away from this. It says take away two positives. So I quite literally simply just take away two of them, and I'll just cross them out. So we're going to take away this one. We're going to take away that one. And what do I have left right here? I've got positive 3. So that's where we get positive 5 take away positive 2 equals positive 3. Done. Next example. OK, getting a little trickier now. Read the sentence, positive 1, start with that number, positive 1, take away or subtract, right? Positive 1, subtract or take away three positives. But now if I look at this number initially here, we can see that I can't really take away three positives from what I've got inside the square here. I don't have enough positive counters. Yet the math sentence here is telling me to take away three positive counters. This situation is easily dealt with by adding zero pairs to my workspace. I've added one zero pair here that has an effective value of zero, so it doesn't change. I assume I'm looking at positive one. If I add another zero pair, well, I still have positive one. So I can really add as many zero pairs as I want to the workspace, and I don't change the value of the number. I'm just adding zero each time. So I'm still looking at positive one now, but now I can take away three positives from this group, and I will cross them out again. Take away one positive, two positives, three positives. I took away three positives. I'm left with two negatives. That gives me the answer. Positive one, take away positive three equals negative two. One more example. Positive two, or actually not one more. This is our second last one. But positive two, take away negative one equals. All right, let's go ahead and model it up. There's my positive 2. I've got to take away a negative 1 now from this positive 2. But just like before, I don't have any negative counters at all here. So I'm going to add a 0 pair. Now I still have positive 2 inside the square. It's still positive 2. But now I can take away the 1 negative. Like it's telling me, and I'll just cross it out to keep this consistent. We'll just cross it out to say we've taken it away. Goodbye. What am I left with? Positive 3. So there you have it. Positive 2, take away, negative 1, gives us positive 3. And one more example with two different negatives. Negative 4, take away, negative 2 equals. Start by modeling the first number. first number we model is negative 4. Now inside my workspace in my square here, I'm showing negative 4. The math sentence here tells me negative 4, take away two negatives. So all I have to do here is take away two negatives. Take it away, take it away. What am I left with? Negative 2. Negative 4, take away negative 2 equals negative 2 as shown by the model. Thanks for watching. That was Subtracting Integers.